What is going on everybody? It's your boy Austin back in here with another Gran Turismo Sport update video. Today we have 1.13 aka the February update. Uh, so let's get right into it. When you first start the game, you're going to see this screen pop up after you install the update. It says add-on content information 1.13. Gran Turismo Sport was updated, obviously. So here we go. Um, to start off, you have the additional cars. Uh, 1972 Alpine A110 1600S, a 2017 Alpine A110 Premier Edition, 2007 Audi R8 4.2 FSI R-Tronic, 1971 De Tomasa Pantera, 1970 Dodge Challenger RT, 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1, a Gran Turismo F1500 TA, a 2011 Lamborghini Aventador LP 704, 2016 Subaru WRX STI Isle of Man Time Attack Car, 2017 Subaru Falcon Tire Turn 14 Distribution BRZ, 1988 Toyota Supra 3.0 GT Turbo A, and a 1997 Toyota MR2 GTS. Now, additional courses have also been added. Um, Blue Moon Bay Speedway has infield A, which is one of the two new layouts, because um, infield A2 is going to be the reversed version of infield A, and then infield B, infield B2. So two different layouts and the reverse versions as well. Um, and then there is also following events have been added to gt league section of campaign mode beginner league stars and stripes amateur league vision grand charisma trophy and professional league f1500 championship um monza has also been added to the circuit experience so if you guys didn't if you guys wanted it there it is now there um snow special collection has been added to scapes spots related to volkswagen have been added so for brand central it says in the bottom left there but uh here we'll go right ahead we'll do the campaign part first so circuit experience you can see is 94 percent now instead of a hundred percent and you have monza right here and it looks like you got five different sections and then the one lap time attack so six uh six new things to do here now we'll go back um, to GT League. So in the beginner league, oh, um, Sunday Cup has a new one. Oh shit, they also expanded this one. So now Sunday Cup has a race six and seven. So you have a five lap race at Autodrome Lago Maggiore Center two, and a three lap race at Blue Moon Bay Speedway Infield A. So Sunday Cup has two new ones. And then Stars and Stripes, is the new one you have a three la three lap race on blue moon bay speedway infield b this is american cars only it says with sp sports soft tires um then three laps on willow springs international raceway big willow and three laps on autodromo de interlagos so those are your well so total there's five new beginner league races um club man cup has new ones as well so five lap race on Autodrome Lago Maggiore West in the Clubman Cup, and one lap on the Nurburgring Nordschleife. And then you have the Vision Gran Turismo Trophy, which is three races, eight laps on Autodromo Nazionale Monza, seven laps on the Kyoto Driving Park Yamagiwa plus Miyabi, and seven laps on Alsace Village 2. And that was Vision Gran Turismo cars only. Um, professional League got a new one here in Premium Sports Lounge. Actually, two of them. 10 laps on Dragon Trail Seaside and 10 laps on Autodromo Nacionale Monza. So that's good. Definitely more ways to get easy money. Um, then you have the F1500 Championship. We have 10 laps on Brands Hatch Grand Prix Circuit, 10 laps on Autodromo de Interlagos, and 10 laps on Zuzuka Circuit. So good ways to test these cars out. And there's a new Porsche Cup Endurance League. 30 laps on Dragon Trail Seaside. All right. Well, there's all your new GT League stuff. Um, 
So we'll save the Brand Central for last. We'll go to Scapes. It says there's a new snow collection added. Uh, yes, right here we see new snow scenes have been added here. So we got Chiritoko Cape in Japan. Got Deset Suzan. Deset Suzan National Park. Mount Zhao. I'm not going to name all these because there's too many. But anyway, there is 17 new snow scapes. So you guys can check those out. A lot of them seem to be overseas except for two of them in Detroit, Belle Isle Park, and Summit Street. So 17 snowscapes to check out. Um, and then we'll go ahead and check out the Brand Central so you guys can physically see these new cars. Um, so start off in the America area. We have the Ford. So it should be the Mach 1 Mustang in here. Yes, there it is. They show it off right away. The 71 Mustang Mach 1. And it is an N300 car. Only way, only has 50,000 credits. So, I mean, that's not bad at all for that. Let's see. Well, actually, let's see what all colors it comes in. Real quick, we'll just go through the colors. So, you got white, some black, a blue, some greens, yellows, a red. And we got some Dodge here. We have the new Challenger. N400, 80,000 credits. Has a ton of different colors to choose from here. So then, let's see the Europe cars. This is probably where we're going to see the most changes, um, or cars added, probably. So Europe, in the United Kingdom, no new ones. Germany, says there's new Volkswagen. Oh, that's right, because of the, the brand central, something about the related scenes. Alright, so Volkswagen now has... Now it has these. I thought these are always here, but I could be wrong. But now you have the transport factory um, scape, essentially, for Volkswagen. And then I'm going to assume that's... Oh, never mind, because the Audi is actually the Audi. Right, I was going to say maybe they added an Audi one as well, but I forgot. It's actually the 2007 Audi R8. Once again, got a couple different car select or color selections to go with here. Um, so there you go. That is the Audi there. Then we have the Alpine. There's actually two new cars here. The old one and the new one. This is a 2017 one here. Comes in the white, a black, or a blue here. We'll wait. A lot of people are probably going to go with the blue because that's like the iconic Alpine color. Here we do have the older one, the 72 1600S, only comes in the blue. But, of course, you could always change it. Then we have Lamborghini. Because of the new Aventador. Comes, this one's 400,000 credits. I forgot to mention the price of the other ones, but you guys probably saw it in the bottom right there. My bad about that. Uh, white looks really nice on this. Yellow looks pretty menacing, but there you go. It's the new Aventador, different colors. Once again, they all seem to have a good selection of factory paint jobs to choose from. Um, then we have the new edition of the De Tomasa here on the right. This one is 200,000 credits, N300, has a bunch of different colors to choose from. And then we have the Asia Pacific ones, which is going to be the Toyota, the Gran Turismo car, and the Subarus here, so let's go right ahead and look at these, and then should be about it then for the update 
But here we have the 97 Toyota MR2 GTS. Comes in not as many colors. Got six different options here. But then again, you can always paint them whatever color you want. And then the Supra only comes in black. And yeah, there you go. Supra is 40500 27,100 credits for the MR2. Mention that real quick. And then we have, I'll save the Grand Tourism one for last. So we'll do the Subaru here. This video is getting kind of long, but going over all these cars a little bit. 300,000 credits for the Time Attack car. Obviously, it's only going to come in one color. So here we'll uh, do that. Just one color, obviously. Oh, I backed out on accident. But then this is pretty much a drift car, so I guess we'll have to, I'll buy this eventually and try it out, see how that goes. But there's your BRZ drift car. And last but not least, we have the Gran Turismo Formula 1500 Turbo something. I don't know what TA really stands for, but I'm assuming the T's for turbo. Um, a million credits. Wow. Um, does come in quite a few different colors here. Different numbers as well, which is cool. So they do change colors according to color. So that's pretty cool. Um, so there, I'm pretty sure that was about it right there for everything. Um, in this 1.13 update video. I'm pretty sure we went over everything, went over the circuit experience, all that stuff. So that there, guys, is the entire update of 1.13. As you can see here, we covered everything. Um, so there you go. The new cars, the tracks, the escapes, Brand Central. Which actually here says library editor. When editing a vehicle with an existing library such as a race car, the existing library will no longer be removed until you start editing the paint, decals, or racing items. When only the design of the wheels is changed, the original decals will be maintained. Added exposure adjustment to the library editor options. The lowest value limit for the brightness of black paint has been lowered. Discover added a recommended page. Notification of users who liked or reposted your content will be displayed. You can now preview the libraries of cars within the car deal or car library. In my library, it is now possible to pre preview the libraries of cars in the car library section. Race photo, the target car name is now displayed in the panning shot settings. And then there's a bunch of stuff changed to sport mode stuff. I'm not really going to go over all this. Um, that's, well, actually, you know what? Sport mode, the sportsmanship rating, SR, and penalty judgment algorithms have been improved. In a collision between two cars, a penalty will now be added to the driver rating, DR, as well as incurring a time penalty depending on the situation. If a driver continues to drive without complying with a certain amount of time penalty, additional time penalties will be added. The additional penalty, penalty depends on the driver rating. A driver may now be disqualified from a race if the number of collisions and shortcuts they accumulate becomes too great. Cars over a lap behind will now be ghosted and will not be subject to collisions, only enabled in sport mode. It is now possible to submit grief reports for misconduct of other users. And then the physics simulation model. The active brake controls for the four-wheel drive system, SAWC, used in the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution Final Edition 2015 has been adjusted. And then notifications. Followers notifications will now be displayed in the dis in the notifications list of my menu. Then there is also some other improvements and adjustments. It is now possible to display slash hide layers while editing decals with the library editor. A gallery has been added to a detailed user information page in Discover. Some of the sport mode penalties will also apply to lobby races and of course various other issues have been addressed. Well that's a mouthful. This is a long video and uh, so there you guys go. That is everything going over the new 1.13 update video and or update video um the 1.13 update so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this one i know it's been a long one you were probably skipping around probably didn't watch the whole thing but that is fine i understand you watched the bits you wanted to but on that note i'm going to end this video now so i will see you guys in the next video